A work breakdown structure, known as a WBS, is the project management term for a hierarchy of tasks. You can set up WBS codes in project to uniquely identify each task in your project. First of all, the task ID column over on the left side of the table, that is not a WBS code. Task IDs will change as you rearrange your tasks. So you can't use that for a WBS. Let's go ahead and insert the WBS field into this table. I'm going to right click the task name heading and then choose insert column on the shortcut menu. The field name is WBS, so I type that in and press enter. Out of the box, project creates a WBS using numbers at every level. If we look at this, we can see that the planning move summary task is at level one and it has just the number one. The first summary task underneath it is 1.1 and then the work tasks beneath that summary task are 1.1.1, 1.1.2 and so on. If this scheme works for you, you're done. You don't have to change anything. On the other hand, if your organization has a scheme for a WBS, you can customize the project WBS field to do that scheme. In order to do that, we're gonna to go to the project tab. In the properties section, click WBS and then choose define code. That opens up the WBS code definition dialog box. We're gonna start with the project code prefix. Now this is optional, but if you have multiple projects and you wanna have a prefix to uniquely identify each project, fill this in. For the office move, let's say I type in OFC and then a hyphen. Notice the code preview is going to show me what a sample WBS code looks like. Now that we've got the prefix, let's drop down to the actual code mask. I'm gonna click the first sequence cell and click the down arrow. There are four options. I'm gonna start with characters unordered. This is gonna be a mix of numbers and letters. I can type in what I want. Project doesn't fill in the values, doesn't increment the values, but it's great for abbreviating phases. For example, like PLN for planning. I'm gonna to go to the length cell and instead of any, which allows any number of characters at this level, I'm gonna type three to limit it to three. I'm gonna keep the separator as a period. If you click the down arrow, you can see that you have a couple of symbols you can use. Now let's go to the second row and click the sequence cell. In this case, I'm gonna click the down arrow and I'm gonna choose uppercase letters ordered. So this is gonna be letters in sequence. I'm gonna keep the length three and the separator is a period. Now I go to the third row. Let's make this lowercase letters ordered. Again, these will be going into sequence and project will increment them as you add tasks. I'm gonna change the length to two. We wanna keep the WBS codes relatively short. Finally, in the fourth row, I'll click the down arrow and I'm gonna use numbers ordered. And I'll limit this level to two as well. Now that I've filled in those four rows, look up at the code preview. That's generally what a WBS code is going to look like. Finally, take a look at the two checkboxes beneath the table. They're turned on by default, that's generally what you want. The first one generates WBS codes for new tasks. If you end up adding tasks in the middle of the project, let's say for change requests, you definitely want a WBS code for them. So keep that checkbox turned on. The second one makes sure that your new WBS codes are unique and you want them unique so you can refer to your tasks with these codes. 
Now that we have the code definition done, click OK. Notice that that fills in most of your WBS codes. However, if we look at task one, planning move, you can see that there are asterisks for level one. That's because of the unordered characters. We have to fill that in. So I'm gonna type PLN and then press enter. Notice that all of the tasks that belong to planning move now have PLN in the WBS code. I can jump down to task 17, which needs another code. So I'm gonna type in CON and press enter. And then finally, the very last task, which is the project review recurring task, I'm gonna type in RVW for review. And when I press enter, now I have my WBS codes. That's how you display WBS codes and set up your own to match the scheme your organization uses.